Welcome back to Meanwhile in the week of February 10, 2020. Meanwhile. News of this week is that on Monday of the 17th, we are out of school. <laughs> Meanwhile. There you go. <laughs> I am here with. Hi, my name is Gyro. This is fashion design and we basically make clothing and then make use of scraps and everything. And right now we're actually working on um, our fashion shows and our pieces, so yeah. What kind of tools do you use in this class? We use sewing machines to make our pieces and patterns to cut out for our pieces and seam rippers and all that. Okay. Um, are y'all working on any big projects right now? Um, the fashion show actually. Can you tell us any more about the fashion show? So the fashion show is going to be here actually at the GRCTC. It's going to be on April 17th at doors open at 7 and you can get your ticket for $5. Uh, do y'all work as groups or individually? Um, I'd say individually, but we help each other out as much as we can. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Meanwhile, I'm here with Tevin from Firefighting. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Today we're just looking at the, the apparatus itself. Mm -hmm. The main goal of us having it is to just get more hands-on experience with the apparatus so that way we can be more comfortable around it because right now the only experience that we've really had on it is the times that we go over to the fire training center and during boot camp over the summer. So, so what are y'all doing out here this time? So this isn't y'all's first time. Since it's not our first time, um, Right now we're just trying to see what's up with with the view or with the apparatus at this point because it's kind of old, but at the same time it's the school's apparatus now. So at this point we can do whatever we need to do with it as far as like loading hoses, getting familiar with where to put the equipment and everything. Meanwhile, hey, this is your daily pickup lines from EMT. Hey, can I take your temperature? You're looking really hot today. <laughs> okay. Hey, are you a pulmonary embolism? Because you take my breath away. No. <laughs> hey, baby, are you a spinal injury? Because you give me priapism. <laughs> I think you're suffering from a lack of vitamin E. Hey, baby, my love for you is like diarrhea. It's uncontrollable. Are you manual traction? Because I can't keep my hands off of you. Are you cardiac arrest? Because you're making my heart stop. There you go, it's good. Do you have a band-aid? Because I scraped my knee falling for you. I'd be no organ donor, but I'd be happy to give you my heart. Is there any other ones I want to do? <laughs> 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 Blood is red, cyanosis is blue. I get tachycardia when I'm thinking of you. <laughs> For Asgard. Hey guys, welcome back to Poll Check. Today we are going to be asking people their ideal date for Valentine's Day. Let's go. Poll Check. Poll Check. Woo. I am here with Caitlin. Okay, what is your ideal date for Valentine's Day? Maybe <laughs> just like have dinner together, I guess, and just just hang out together or something. I don't know. Okay, thank you. Okay, I am here with. Ben. What is your ideal date for Valentine's Day? Picnic. Picnic? Picnic. You gonna elaborate or just picnic? Just picnic at a park. You know, that, that's it? peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, or <laughs> a little cartons of orange juice, maybe some of uh, those uh, fruit snack gummies. Okay, thank you. I'm here with... Cade. Okay, what is your ideal date for Valentine's Day? I'm, I'm gonna have to go with... Uh, with chilies on that one. Okay, thank you. Okay, I am here with... Luis. Okay, what is your ideal date for Valentine's Day? Honestly, I don't see nothing special about Valentine's, bro. If you're if you're with someone and you see them every day and you go out and you have a good time, I mean, what's the point of Valentine's? Is Valentine's is every day. You share your love with a specific person. Okay, thank you. Okay, I am here with... Juliana. Okay, what is your ideal date for Valentine's Day? Uh, to go see a movie and then pluggers. Okay, I'm here with Raina. What is your ideal date for Valentine's Day? Um, just spending the time with the person you really love. That would be great because like anything you do with someone that you really like is a special moment. Okay, thank you. Okay, I'm here with Michelle Wynn. Okay, what is your ideal date for Valentine's Day? 
Um, um, we would go out to get boba or something and play games and get to know each other. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> okay, I am here with... Len. Okay, what is your ideal date for Valentine's Day? Probably a nice driving movie in the back of a Ford pickup truck with some water burger and nice warm blankets under the stars. That's probably the perfect one right there. Okay, thank you. Thank you guys for watching Poll Check. We'll see you next week. Poll Check. Poll Check. Thank you for watching Meanwhile. Don't forget to retweet us and submit some Meanwhiles down in this link below. See you next week. Oh shoot! Ah, uh, what should I get her? Man, not this again. What, what should I get her? Boys are so dumb. What's so hard about remembering one day out the year? Y'all can barely remember our anniversaries. Jewelry? Plushies? Flowers? When are they gonna learn that the way to a girl's heart is through food. Go over there. I swear I'm gonna dump him. I can't believe him. Guess who? You remembered! You remembered. <laughs>